companies that are generating a lot of buzz and are getting close to that million dollar profit line. We begin with a story about three Georgetown Business School students who turned their senior project into a locally grown salad and yogurt experience. Now 10 locations strong and growing strong. Sweet Green is Nathaniel Rue, Nicholas Jamay, Jonathan Neiman. It's called Food That Fits. Sweet Green is like, it's the intersection of style and substance. We were students at Georgetown and we all took uh, this class called entrepreneurship and decided to build a place that was healthy, fast, and cool. We saw this little tavern and, and we fell in love with the space. We called uh, the landlord. She thought it was a joke. She thought it was like a school project and that we weren't actually serious about it. We spent our whole second semester senior year building the concept, testing recipes, coming up with employee manuals. We opened August 1st, 2007. It's this concept of the sweet life, walking into a cool atmosphere that's playing great music, uh, knowing where your food is coming from, having a delicious salad, and being able to afford it. Sweet Green becomes part of the community then. We connect with the local farmers, you know, it's stimulating the local economy. And we just get to, you know, it's, it's a very relationship driven. What do you have today? A lot of mescaline and kale. We started this company to make meaning and not money. Um, hopefully the money will come, but really it's right now, it's about having an impact in people's lives. We're opening these restaurants fairly quickly, so we're learning from our mistakes as we go. You know, when we started, there were just three of us, and now we have over 350 employees. So we want to make sure that as we grow and as we scale, we don't lose that human touch point. That's all for this edition of How I Made My Millions. I'm Tyler Matheson. For all of us at CNBC, thanks for watching.